If you're like me, I'm sure you've got some images in your catalogue that are so big and so grand that they deserve a equally big and grand way of presenting them. And in the guided edit space of Photoshop Elements 10, we have some new ways of presenting images that will fit well with these types of photos. In particular, let's look at Picture Stack. So if I go to the Guided Edit panel inside the Editor Workspace and then go down to the Photo Play section and then just click on Picture Stack, you'll see this new feature. By moving my mouse over the example image at the top, you'll see a before and an after representation. So essentially we're going to break this landscape image into a series of smaller photos and create an interesting composition of overlapping snapshots of the picture. Just like all guided element effects, we have a series of steps that we can work through. So the first thing we need to do is select the number of pictures that we want to include in the composition. I'm just going to select eight pictures. Now just tapping on the eight pictures button will send Photoshop Elements off to create the composition from our original. What it's doing is actually copying the image several times and then re-presenting the image back to us in a series of photos. The next step is for us to choose the size of the frame that's used around each of the photos. I'm going to select large so the frames are a little more obvious. Then let's look at the background. Here it's presented with a black background, but you can add in a gradient or change the background to a solid color. I'm going to select solid color for this example. Click OK to add a new layer and then just go and select a gray for the background. Click OK at this point and you'll see that we have a new background and it's colored gray. Once we're happy with that result, we can actually do some editing with the positioning of each of these framed images and the size and the orientation back in the main edit space. So I'm going to click Done now and then go back to the full edit space and have a look at the layers palette. It's going to be a little bit overwhelming for some of you because of the numbers of layers that are involved. But don't panic about it. Let's look at the very top layer that you see here. We've got a number 8, then we've got another layer titled C8, another one titled A8, and another titled B8. So these four layers actually constitute one of the framed images that you see. But rather than trying to go through and select each of those layers in turn, and then make adjustments to them. Can I suggest that you go to the Move Tool, select that, go up to the Move Tools Options bar and make sure Auto Select Layer is turned on and then move over any of the layer groupings that we see. I'm selecting it here and then just going up to the corner, dragging in this particular picture and you can see that the frame changes but the picture remains the same. I also have a handle for reorientating or changing the tilt of the frame itself and we can position it in another place and then just click on the green tick button to actually commit those changes. So I like seeing all of the picture frames against the background. So I'm just going to quickly go through and make these changes by clicking on each of the pictures and then placing them against the background so that we can see all of the frames. Okay, so there we have it. All the frames are now sitting inside the boundaries of the actual image itself. What if we want to take the center one and promote that image or bring that image to the fore so that we see all the boundaries or all the edges of the snapshot in the composition. While just selecting it you'll see that it's actually frame number five. But we want to make sure that we include all of the frame parts in any changes that we make to where this frame is being positioned in the composition. So I select this layer, hold down my shift button, select C5, A5 and B5 we selected all of the layers now that are part of the snapshot. I can then just click and drag this up towards the top of the frame panel, let go and automatically that frame is now sitting on top. If I then go and select that frame we can do things like adjust its orientation so it's more square 
and adjust its size so it's sitting more dominantly in the center of the composition. That's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So when next you are in need of a great presentation technique, have a look at the picture stack option in the guided edit workspace.